Hi, this is Lucas Richmond with Farmers Insurance here with Scott Pringle from the Love and Fire Rescue Authority and Leslie Lease from the NoCo Home Team of C3 Real Estate. It's Christmas time, which means a lot of activities, festivities, homes full of family, and for many of us, decorations. But oftentimes we have those questions, well, how can we keep our family safe? How can we keep our house safe? And that's why we brought Scott with us today to give us a little bit more information. Well, you know, the holidays are meant to be a time of happiness and joy for you and your family. But in the blink of an eye, an unintended fire can turn your holiday into a tragedy. Did you know that um, holiday decorations are one of the leading causes of all holiday fires? In fact, um, two out of every five home decoration fires are started by candles. And the top four days for unintended home fires due to candles are Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. So uh, another thing that's important to know is that while Christmas tree fires are not that common, when they do happen, they often cause fatalities. In fact, one out of every 34 Christmas tree fires results in a fatality. Oh my gosh, that is just hard information to hear, but I just really appreciate that you're here to give us this input. Now, do you guys have any tips for how we can stay safe? Is it, you know, different things that maybe we could do to prevent this and lower the risk? Absolutely, there's a number of things that you can do. So first of all, in regard to candles, make sure that you keep those at least 12 inches away from anything that can catch fire. When you're using a uh, Christmas tree, make sure that you keep it at least three feet away from any heat source, such as a fireplace, uh, radiators, space heaters, floor vents, candles, things like that. Another thing that's important is if you're using holiday lights, be sure that you follow the manufacturer's instructions and um, ensure that the cords are not damaged or frayed and that um, you're not overloading your electrical circuits. Wow, that's great information. Now, I just have a quick question for you. I've used my lights year after year and, you know, I don't have the box that they came in and the little piece of paper there. So where would I find those manufacturer's instructions? Yeah, that's a great question. Normally, you can find that on a little tag next to the uh, plug end of the holiday lights. It'll be on a, uh, close to the, the end and tell you. Uh, what their recommendations are as far as how many strands can be plugged together and things like that. Another thing to think about is ensuring that uh, the lights and the cords that you're using have been tested by an independent qualified uh, testing laboratory um, and there usually is a tag that will tell you that as well. Awesome. You know, I've got one other quick question. I don't know if we've got time for this, but is it safer to use a real tree or to use a fake tree? You know, real trees are, are safe as long as you take these precautions to ensure that they're not exposed to uh, excessive heat. So the tree itself, um, you want to make sure that you keep it watered and moist, uh, check it daily for that, and like we said, keep it away from heat sources. And one more thing about holiday lights.